Hey everyone, Dave here. Um, day whatever the hell it is that we're quarantined here. Just got a note, it sounds like uh, Chicago may pass the, uh, oh, the phase three thing to uh, supposedly get us out of quarantine, but uh, whatever. Um, you know, one of the things that I started doing just uh, kind of as a personal challenge, just to, you know, do it, like put in the, put in the work and see it through, and uh, also just to, I guess, have a bit of fun is uh did a live stream uh show i guess for lack of a better term and uh went pretty well um it was pretty primitive for me i literally just uh threw my iphone up on the desk and hit go live and started playing tunes and uh hey you know it's kind of fun um but in doing that, I learned there were some things that I wanted to do differently. Um, I learned that, uh, you know, there's some limitations just putting a phone up and, and recording. I mean, just even when you're doing it, it's hard to see kind of what people are saying and everything. So I made, uh, I made a couple upgrades. I'm getting ready to do another one here. And um, I thought, you know, I've had some other people ask me about, uh, you know, getting into this. And... You know, I'm by no means like a pro at live. This is my second one, but uh, I thought I'd just share some of the things that you know I had to set up. I'll put links to the stuff I'm using in the in the comments. And uh, all in all, um, equipment wise, besides my laptop, I think maybe a hundred bucks I got into this, and then uh, found a free encoder, which I also put a link to as well. So. I'm gonna go handheld here. Okay, so this is uh, this is it. This is basically if I do a live stream, this is uh, this is what I'm looking at. Um, those two monitors up there are actually plugged into my audio rig, so I don't really use it for video or anything like that. I run everything through that Lenovo right there, um, you know, and that works pretty well for me. Uh, realistically, you have to. During this uh, quarantine thing, my daughter does her homeschooling down here with me while I'm doing shop down here. But, um, and I probably won't use that chair anymore, and I know that sounds like a nit, but I just feel better sitting in a folding chair playing guitar for a long time, so I'll bring one in for that. But that's, uh, that's what I sit on all day long. Um, from a mic perspective, uh, this is... This works well for me. I mean, it's kind of a good enough type mic, but this is a blue snowball that um, I actually got because uh, a few years ago I was doing uh, some video t or audio tutorials and stuff for work and just needed something that I could plug into a USB uh, quick and dirty, and it works pretty well for these purposes too. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty straightforward, plugs right in switches automatically from your, you know, whatever your computer audio or your mic is to that. Um, has a few different settings on it. I found it's it's basically just a gain, gain button. Um, I run it kind of right in the middle. Um, it's a little, I wouldn't like record music with this, like like things that I would t intend to like release to the world. So wouldn't use it for that, but the, for the purposes of just, uh, you know, doing some, you know, audio recording or live streaming works fine um this is basically just a, a 1080 webcam that i got um plugged straight in usb does a really good job i like to uh, do these streams with kind of lower light um i've got multicolor lights in here so i can have kind of a back mood lighting and when i'm doing streams i usually turn on these lava lamps to uh you know kind of bring front front stage light um but i put that up here uh when I did the uh when I did my other one I used my webcam or I used my iPhone and uh you know unfortunately uh it just has a pretty narrow band you couldn't see my hand things were backwards and I wanted to for this time actually capture you know the whole room you know my obviously I won't have that there when I do it but uh I think that'll make for a better vibe um over here this is the computer I'm running through I'll show uh yeah, look at that that's actually just a free, uh, some free software I got. Um, and what you want to do with that is rather than just go straight into Facebook or YouTube or whatever and click go live, um, it works way better 
if you're using like an encoder or something like that in front of it. Um, otherwise, at least my experience has been, I don't know, maybe people have like way faster internet than me or something. But it ultimately ends up, um, you know, video's choppy. It sounds like there's like a flanger on your guitar and all that. So uh, I would recommend doing that. I'll put a link to the one I use in the bottom uh, or in the comments. It does what it does. But uh, anyways, um, that's pretty much it from here. So yeah, there you have it. That's what I'm working with. Um, I'm intending to do this, uh, my next one, uh, Tuesday the, what the hell time is that? Uh, more than likely Tuesday, May, uh, May 19th. Um, I'll probably, kind of like I did with the last one, assuming that, you know, it's not a complete travesty, I'll, uh, I'll put these live, or put these on my YouTube channel, and, uh, Hey, if there's some cool stuff that comes out of it, you'll be able to see it there. But that's pretty much it for me. I think, you know, I was really big on trying to keep this simple. Um, you know, I definitely could, like, plug in all my audio stuff into this. Um, but, you know, for simplicity's sake, and I also think there's a bit of charm in just being kind of raw. Uh, that's what I went with. But so far, so good. We'll see on Tuesday what that ends up looking like. So I'll talk to you soon, everybody.